The second part of the medical interview is the chief concern or major reason why the patient came for the visit. Additionally, into taking the chief concern, you take what is called the history of present illness. I'm going to demonstrate how that is done. Ms. Smith, tell me what brings you to the clinic today. I've been having ear pain. I hear you're having ear pain. Is there anything else you'd like to talk to the doctor about today? No. No? Tell me a little bit more about this ear pain. Um, it started about two weeks ago, and it's kind of like constantly there. Okay. I'm going to take some notes while we talk, if that's okay with you, because it helps me just organize my thoughts, if that's all right. So, with the ear pain, you've had it two weeks, correct? Yes. Tell me which ear it's in. It's in my right ear. Right ear. All right. And can you describe the pain for me? Um, sometimes it's kind of like a dull pressure, and that's probably the most often. Okay. Uh, and then sometimes it's like a sharp stabbing pain. Okay. And just so I understand a little better, when it's a dull pressure, I'd like you to rate this pain. And one on a 1 to 10 scale, 0 or 1 being no pain, and 10 being the worst pain you've ever had. When it's the dull pain, how would you rate that in terms of severity with a number? Maybe about a two or three. Okay. And tell me then when it's at its worst, when it's at that stabbing pain, what is it? Uh, maybe about an eight. Okay. All right. And tell me a little bit more about the timing. You say it started two weeks ago. Since then, how often have you had it? Oh, um, it's kind of every day. Every day. It never goes away? It never goes away. It never away. goes away. It's constantly there. All right. Um... Have have you ever experienced this before? Has this ever happened to you before? No. Okay. Is there any pattern to the sharp and dull sensation that happens? No, not really. Okay. Is Does anything else go on, or do you notice that it happens more at one time of the day or when you're doing something? Do you notice anything different about it? Uh, no, none that I can think of. It's just kind of always there. Always there. Okay. Uh, are there any other what we call associated signs or symptoms, things that go on at the same time? Well, it initially started when I had a cold, okay. and I figured that it would, you know, kind of get better as the cold got better. Okay. But um, the cold has seemed to have gotten better, but the ear pain is still there. And how long did the cold last? Uh, maybe about a week. I mean, I still have kind of a runny nose, but okay. other than that, I'm okay. And anything else other than the runny nose with the cold symptoms when you had that? No. No? Okay. Uh, does anything make this ear pain better? Um, I've tried an over-the-counter decongestion, and I've also tried um, Tylenol. Mm -hmm. And that seems to make it a little better, but not much. Not much. Okay. What makes it worse? Um, last week I had to travel, mm -hmm. and so, you know, taking off and landing was really bad. And I actually have to travel um, next week, so I'm a little concerned about that. Okay. All right. Um, the, you talked about ty trying Tylenol and over-the-counter decongestants. Any other therapies that you've tried for this at all? No. Have you seen any other practitioner for it? No. Okay. Taken any herbal supplements or anything like that? No. Okay. All right. Um, uh, what do you think this is? Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm a little worried that maybe I've ruptured my eardrum or something. Okay. All right. And tell me, you know, it sounds like it's bothering you every single day. Tell me how else it has affected your life. Um, I sometimes it'll keep me up at night, and um, I think I have a little hearing loss. Mm, okay. All right. You notice that? What I'd like to do now is tell you back or summarize for you what I've heard you say about this concern that brings you to the clinic. What I'd like you to do is to correct me if I've gotten some piece of information wrong or if there's something that I've forgotten, okay? So what I understand is you're coming to the doctor today for a concern of a right ear pain. There's really nothing else you want to speak about today. What worries you the most is what's causing this ear pain and, and you're seeking treatment for it. You have had this ear pain for two weeks. It started out with a cold. When you had the cold, you had runny nose with it, and you know, but that seemed to go away after about a week, but the ear pain has continued. The pain goes from a two to an eight in terms of severity of pain. Pain is always there. It can be dull or it can be sharp or in between. Um, 
it doesn't really happen any particular time of the day. There's no pattern to it. But what you did notice did have an effect on you was when you were traveling with the change in altitude of either descent or the taking off that you uh, noticed that that pain got worse for you and was more bothersome. Um, nothing really makes it better other than maybe the Tylenol or the decongestant and you haven't seen anybody else for it. You're worried that your eardrum is possibly punctured and what I'm also hearing that you're worried about is that you have to travel again so you're concerned about that this pain is present. Um, I cannot think of anything else that, that uh, you told me. Is there anything that I've missed? Um, I think you've covered it all. Okay. Again, I'm going to go tell uh, the doctor about this, and then we'll come back and we'll talk again. Okay. Thank you. This concludes the chief concern, history of present illness. You know, I forgot to ask you about caffeine in the other one. That's okay. You can ask me in this one. Okay. Okay. Um, another part of the medical history. Uh, I really wanted to do this once my braces were off, and we're running out of time because my braces don't come off for another two weeks. Okay.